Welcome to another Chelligan's video. Today we're using our 6 GHz VNA. The device under test will be an unknown frequency band uh, filter. And let's get started. Remove the protector. Let's turn it on. The very first side of the screen that we'll see will be a massive screen you're looking at. The first thing we want to do, we want to make it clear. And we only leave the necessary traces that we need for today. So the first thing we do, we disable the trace 3, trace 4, and leave only two traces here. And today we only need two trace. One is for S11, and another will be the S21. Both of them are logmag. The way you want to uh, select the two traces, simple click it, you will enable this trace, and you want to change that, you long press the button, and go to the format, and you choose log mac and that's it and for the next trace the same thing you enable the trace if in the case the currently the channel is not s21 it's s11 what you want to do you want to toggle the channel here you want to do it you can switch from 21 to 11 and 11 to 21 and the next thing you do go to format and uh, log mac and this is the thing that we want to do okay and then I also want to explain a little bit about S11 and S21 the log mag. S11 means you send out a signal from port 1 and then the signal being reflected and you receive from the same port 1. And the S21 will be also from the S21 but you receive from port 2 and you measure the difference. That's S11 and S21. You want to put the two adapters on it, port 1 and port 2. Like always, the first thing we want to do is to calibrate our device firstly. And we take out our calibration kit. We take out the open short and load and also the through cable. We take them out and we go to cal. We go to reset and we want to calibrate it. And open will be port one. Open. The next one short short and the next one will be load okay load and the very last thing you want to calibrate will be the cable it will be the through because this time we are going to use the s21 figure so we need this calibrated as well okay then through and after everything's done you press down done and you want to save to one of the channels I will go to the channel 2 again I will overwrite it and the next time when you want to go to the same frequency band you can just simply recall the frequency band you have calibrated before and then now we can start to test the unknown filter and notice that for now our frequency band is set to 1 megahertz all the way to 6.3 gigahertz and let's see what kind of frequency band will this filter working between one end, another end will go to the other end of the filter. Okay, we can start to see something look like this. And it will fall. Let's move the marker further to the right. And we can see that it's around 5.8 gigahertz something. And the filter is working around that frequency. And the next thing we would do, we want to change our frequency band a little bit. What we do is we click the start frequency here. We go to say 5.7 gigahertz. For now, we can see we change the bandwidth. We change from 5.7 gigahertz to 6.3 gigahertz. And for now, we can take a look at the figure. We can see that the filter start working around the marker one, which is 5.8 gigahertz. And we want to enable another marker and see the stop frequency. We double click the control button and we move that to the other end. We can see that the filter is working around 5.8 to 6 gigahertz frequency. And another function of this device we can do is here. We can simply click the marker button and there's a sweep analysis. We want to click it and we want to go to the bandpass analysis because this is a bandpass filter apparently. We go to bandpass, click it, 
and it told us we need to place a marker one to the filter passport. Okay, well, what we do, we select marker one and we move it inside the working passband. And for now, it starts to uh, analysis. We can take a look. It tells us the center frequency is 5.9, 58 gigahertz, something around that. And the bandwidth will be around uh, 294 megahertz. And the cutoff frequency starts from the uh, 5.8 all the way to uh, upper side, which is 6.1 gigahertz. And for now, let's take a look. The center frequency is 5.8. 955 gigahertz so it knife 5.955 gigahertz exactly the same this is how you measure a bandpass filter with the 6 gigahertz vna thank you